Hello YouTube, Andrew here with iPods Unleashed. That epic intro you saw was made by me. So that will only be there for a while because I've found a cooler one that I can make, so yeah. I'm going to do an app pack today for games. It's called Conquest, Family Guy Uncensored, I believe, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and Superfall. Let's get into Conquest. This is basically the iPod iPhone game of Risk. Now as you can see, this my game I'm playing here is not the average board. That's because uh, you can have different maps, actually, and as you can see, I just surrendered to show you, so. Here's the world. You can have, like, Atlantis, Arquest, Skyland, Aiden, England, Demul, Jar, Esterbrook, Twin Volcano, and M Mayon, I think. So you can have, like, however many humans you want. You can just pass and play and stuff. So that's really cool better than the seven dollar game deluxe and this is a buck ninety nine uh... you can have very easy which is way too easy easy which is you know easy medium which is a bigger step up than easy hard which is actually hard for me and very hard is impossible for me card bonus you can set that you all know what that is you can choose the territory startup and the dice random dice no dice blah so hit play and here's your map. So that's basically a conquest and to attack. What you basically do, I'll just show you right now. You drag to a country you would like to attack and hopefully you kill them, which I just did. Okay. And then I get a card at the end of the turn because I conquered a country. So that's really cool. And this app's a buck ninety nine. I really recommend getting it. Next is Family Guy Uncensored. This game is fun, but could be better. Just continue. Uh, right now, I'm playing on a level that requires the accelerometer, so that really sucks. And, you know, this game is fun. Except for it's so hard sometimes, it takes a long time to load, and, you know, like, this level. Chris is a monkey killer person, so if I get off camera, that's because of the accelerometer. So, I'm looking through the camera right now, hoping I'm doing good. See, alright, so it's Family Guy Uncensored, sometimes it's laggy and it looks just unprofessional sometimes. It's a fun game, if you're a fan of Family Guy, I would get it. I've, it's $1.99, and so, you know, I wouldn't recommend it if you aren't the biggest fan of Family Guy, but I just got it for free, on the free app a day. So, next, we go on to Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Sega did good on this game. My only complaint is the controls. And here's a big, big, big step up from the last game, is they actually have a continue game option. There, see? So, we'll just hit continue, and that you actually start off from the very second you last played. So, I just got a game over, which is sucky. So, get yeah, start over. Here's Emerald Hill Zone 1. And it's basically a port from the original Sega uh, Genesis, I believe it was. And it's very awesome. Controls are very, very smooth. I'm just really bad at this game. Can be hard. It's really fun. So yeah, it's, I believe, $5.99 in the App Store. And, you know, if you're not a big fan of this type of game, like, I don't know anybody that isn't, but it's, it's not the easiest to play. I wouldn't get it if you aren't the biggest fan. So, $5.99, little bit expensive. I would pay $5, maybe 3 So, I don't know if I'm going backwards or what, I'm just doing what I can. So maybe if I can get there, I can show you the end of a level? I don't know. Okay, so I'm going the right way. Anyways, that's Sonic the Hedgehog 2 by Sega, and it's $5.99. I recommend picking it up. It's worth every penny. 
but again, if you're not the biggest fan, if you're not sure, don't don't get it. Here is Super Fall, one of my favorite games on my iPod. I play it all the time, and it's just a great time waster. So you can buy all these dolls, and let me find one that I have. Yeah, right here. I have not unlocked this doll named Peace because I haven't gotten the achievement. So, let's just go back to what I bought. And I can't buy that yet, so I'll just go to this. They aren't the most expensive dolls, but they are they are a little bit expensive. It'll make it'll keep you playing though. That's the good part. Slow it up, and for the dull health levels and stuff, it's got different, you know, stages. Like, this one's a lot more dangerous than the first level. And, yeah, the first doll you ever meet is Tutorial Boy, and it's a really good doll, but they made something that you can't get experience, which, a.k.a. the cash to buy the dolls, with while using Tutorial Boy. Whoa, sorry. And also, if you get stuck in a trap in this game, you can shake your device and it'll fly up. Not all the time, though. Here's a black hole. Try and avoid that. It's basically like Doodle Jump on steroids and the Doodle Falling. So, personally, me, not a big fan of Doodle Jump. Uh, I get this game. I'm actually doing pretty well for behind the camera, but oh well. That's what you gotta do. And the achievements. Just hit quit. See, I got... 6,375 experience points, and the text is not always like that. I jailbroke it, obviously, as you could see in the beginning, and changed this font. So, you've got all these achievements. If you want to see the actual achievements that you're, like, all of them, you go to Shop, and then hit Awards, and here you go. So yeah guys, this is Andrew with iPods Unleashed. Thank you for watching this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Help me get all my subscribers back that I used to have on my old account. So yeah.